So, the new year is upon us yet again. And honestly, I, I don't understand why this has to happen every year. Like, can we stop? Can we stop having more years? I, I do not like the rate at which time is passing by. Don't like it. Anyway, it's been another year of me playing Animal Crossing. And around this time last year, I was just finishing up my Fairy Core Island and I hadn't even done a face reveal yet. Those were dark times. So what's in store for me, for us? in this new year am i gonna have a new island am i gonna get new villagers is i don't know i can't i can't think of anything else spicy um is jeremiah gonna do the one chip challenge i don't know before we answer these questions we have to we have to take a deep dive actually it's not really that deep we have to have a good understanding of the froggy crossing lore and timeline and backstory. I started off 2021 with a whole bunch of builds and let's plays to finish off my first ever island, Pelican Bay. And once we hit February, I started Leapfrog, my froggy kid core islands that I am currently working on. I was really leaping to new heights. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> March was the phase where I thought this pink jumpsuit looked good and I was in the process of unlocking terraforming on my island, which I did. And from there, I've just kind of been, you know, doing my thing. In between my regularly scheduled programming of speed builds and let's plays, I also dabbled in posting the occasional, you know, thrifting video, crafting video, baking video, uh, super animal royale video, you know, all the things that I'm, terrible at. <laughs> and during all this time in 2021, I have not in fact finished my Kidcore Island, which is fine. You know, we can, we should all play the game at our own pace. However, we want to experience it. If you want to go slow, if you want to go fast, it's all totally fine. It's up to you. It's your game. Let's play how we enjoy to play, you know, except I went and reset my very first island because I was excited. So now I currently have two islands, uh, each with their own issues. <laughs> so we have Storybrooke, which is the impulsive island, and she's discovering herself right now, to say the least. She doesn't have a lot going on right now. She doesn't have terraforming. So please send a prayer for Storybrooke. Um, one like equals one prayer. And then we have Leapfrog. Leapfrog is like the middle child who like develops their own kind of unique quirky aesthetic and they were a little bit insecure about it at first and then slowly over time they realized that they were just happy and they learned to embrace it and really refine that style and just like be totally unique and like totally themselves. That's just a metaphor I have for my crisis with Leapfrog, I'll be honest. Leapfrog is currently undergoing some renovations as i discussed in a couple of my previous videos so my optimal timeline for when i wanted this island to be finished is kind of messed up right now which is fine it's all fine and dandy it's it's chill initially i wanted to finish this island in october and then totally focus on my new farm core island for like the 2.0 era in november but obviously that didn't happen um everything just you know things don't go as planned life is life life is life that's that's the moral of the story for this video i don't th life is life <laughs> so i'm not sure when leapfrog is going to be finished exactly 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 my philosophy now is just to do whatever you want you know it doesn't matter so in theory you know if we're getting scientific with it if we're getting scientific it wouldn't matter if i just never finished leapfrog and just leave it in an eternal state of ongoing renovations but I don't necessarily want to do that either. <laughs> I would like to finish Leapfrog by the end of February. Again, not a super strict deadline or goal, just something for me to keep in mind. I want to start focusing on farm core and honestly, I just like, I can't focus on two islands at once. I don't know how you guys do it. Those of you out there who have like two islands, I know a couple of Animal Crossing YouTubers have like two or three islands that they're working on and I'm like, I can't, I can't even do one. I can't even do one. What? I mean, I got this entire cow print chair to match my farm core island. I need a I need a farm core island to match my cow chair. <laughs> if you guys are interested in this chair, it's from Technospore and it's linked below under all my videos. Um, honestly, it's the most unique chair like 
I've ever seen, I've ever had. It's amazing. Definitely a great thing to spend your Christmas money on. Um, not sponsored, but they did send me this chair. They were very nice enough to give me this chair. And my referral link will also give you a discount down below if you're interested. Anyway, that is the goal to just kind of like keep on doing what I've been doing, which is kind of focusing on LeapFrog primarily. And then kind of, you know, doing like an occasional sporadic episode of Storybook here and there. I do want to get to the point where I can unlock terraforming or I do unlock terraforming and get all that kind of stuff, get my catalog all beefed up, you know? But I do want to fully finish LeapFrog first and then shift my focus over to Storybrooke. I just know that's going to help me um, create the best island that I can <laughs> instead of spreading myself thin over two islands, just, you know, focus on one and then do the other. Just that's, that's what's going to work for me. <laughs> We're going to finish our beautiful froggy paradise and then move on to a beautiful cow paradise i guess farm paradise i don't know pick an animal so that's what the plan is going to be i'm excited i know there's a couple of things that i want to do on leapfrog still so i feel like my island is like mostly finished but at the same time it's not like i do definitely want to like completely tear down and redo a couple of areas so that's gonna be fun. My freaking braid won't stay clipped up into a little bun. Oh my goodness, stay. Good, good enough, I think. I don't know. This bun is just gonna be like all over the place in this video. And who knows what the future holds for Storybook as well. Maybe I'll start a new island in the middle of me working on it. Who knows? Right now I'm enjoying my kid core theme and I'm really excited for the farm core theme. Um, I don't have too many ideas, but I'm just excited to play around with like more natural items and you know, just have like a more kind of natural vibe going because I've been doing fairy core and I did kid core. And they're both, you know, they both are mainly focused on like colors and stuff like that. For fairy core, I did a lot of pink and blue and purple. For kid core, I've been just doing like, just, I don't know, it's just a Crayola box that I like dumped on the floor and like that's my island. <laughs> so I'm excited to go for like a different vibe and do stuff that I kind of haven't done before and use items that I haven't used before and variations of items that I haven't used before and just like, I don't know, just like natural vibes. And I'm gonna be so excited to like just place trees all over the place and like place those little wheat field items everywhere. <laughs> but other than that, I don't really have any themes or aesthetics that I'm gravitating towards. So who who's to say for the next island? For island number, wait, what would that be? Because there's Pelican Bay, Leapfrog, Storybooks. For island number four, I don't know what that's gonna be. I shouldn't even be thinking about it right now because <laughs> I still have like three fourths of an, no, not three fourths, no. One four, I still have like, no. I wouldn't say a fourth. Half of an island? I don't know. I still like half of an island to do and then I have a whole other island I shouldn't be thinking about my fourth one. Don't, don't let me think about the fourth island. Do not do it. I'm trusting you. Trusting all of you. Anyway, that about wraps it up. I just wanted to have a fun little chat with you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I hope you had a great year and if you didn't, I hope 2022 is even better for you. And uh, yeah, with that, I will... I will see you next year. <laughs> I bet you haven't heard that joke at all. I bet it's I bet it's so funny and original and unique. Please don't please don't unsubscribe. Please. Can I is it okay? Can I can I show you Squishmallow? I I just got the Squishmallow and honestly, I didn't even mean to match it right now, but like we match. And I think it's really cute. She's got a little green hat. I got I got a little green hat. And she's, she's purple, and I'm also wearing a purple hoodie. So, yeah, her name is, her name is Glenna, and she's an eggplant. And, like, I really feel that right now, you know? She's really going places. Okay, bye.